I'm going to continue playing my saga campaign, playing part 1.1, The Old Forest. I'm going to be using the same decks I used in the Shadow of the Past. My Pond of Friendship deck. And the Frodo Baggins I'm going to be using is the same version. Sam. Tom Cotton, Mary, and Pippin. Starting thread is 28. And I'm going to be also using the same deck. that I used in the Shadow of the Past for Deck 2. Messenger of the King. Rosie. Lorfindel. And Fatty. Starting thread is 14. Burns and boon, the burdens and boons that I've earned so far is Gildor and Glorian and Gandalf's Delay. Draw our opening hands. Like a nice hand to start with, readying an attack. start we got the light of Elendil. Card draw, readying. Now this is one boon we attach to one of our heroes. And if we win the game we Add that to our campaign pool. We're going to put it on Frodo Baggins. And what it is is pretty much a free mulligan. If you have six or more cards in your hand, you can add to the victory display to draw, shuffle them into your deck and draw six cards. One A. Farewell to the Shire. Set up. Set Old Man Willow and with Windle a side out of play. Each player searches the encounter deck and adds one different location to the staging area. So we're setting Old Man Willow and with Windle a side out of play. And we're going to be adding the Wall of Trees and the Deep Gully to the staging area.
zero quest points. When revealed, each player draws a card, advance to a random 2A. Thorngill and test the will. When revealed, the number of locations in the staging area is less than the number of players in the game. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for location and add to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. The Living Forest. And we got Dark Bad Places. At the end of the planning phase, each player must exhaust the hero he controls. And after placing Progress as a result of questing successfully. If there are X or more total victory points on locations in the victory display, advance to 3A. Otherwise, advance to a different random 2A. X is the number of players in the games times 5. So that's going to be 10. Now we shuffle Gildor into the encounter deck. Start again. We don't draw cards this turn because of Gandalf's delay. We skip the draw step. We're going to play Thorngill onto Mary. Then we can go and search our collection for another version of Mary and attach it to Mary and he gains the text box of Mary gets plus one attack for each Hobbit hero you control and response after Mary participates in an attack that destroys an enemy ready another character that participated in that attack. So right now I control five Hobbit characters, or heroes, so he's plus five attack. I'm going to play a Dagger of Westerness to give him another plus two attack. Then I'm going to play a Hobbit Cloak onto Tom. Give Tom plus two defense. When defending against an enemy with a higher threat. Now we're going to go over to the rosy deck. We don't draw cards. We're going to put Light of Elendil and Glorfindel. We're going to play. A lesson of caution, secrecy one, so it's free, and I get a draw card, then either reduce my threat by two, or the next card I play gets secrecy one. Uh, 
I'm going to say the next card I play gets secrecy one. I'm going to exhaust the ring and use Frodo's ability to give Glorfindel a resource. And then I'm going to play Unexpected Courage onto Rosie. Then I'm going to play Song of Wisdom onto Rosie. She gets the lore icon. Now we're going to go to the questing phase. There is a total of four threat in the staging area. Now we're going to quest for four. Or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. First card is lost. Oh, we first, we have to exhaust characters. So we're exhausting Fatty and Mary. Discard all progress from each location in the staging area. If there is a non-unique after location, randomly choose a Location in the staging area and switch it with that location. Well, there's no active location, so it's Surge, Misleading Path, Surge, Gildor and Glorian. First player gains control of her. And second card is Song. Sleep. When revealed, remove a questing hero you control from the quest and attach Song of Sleep to that hero. It counts as a condition attachment with the text limit one per hero. Tree is attached. Hero's printed text box as if it were blank, except for traits. Attached hero cannot ready. Well, we're going to attach it to Glorfindel, and he is ready, and he quests without exhausting, so he's probably the best character to have Song of Sleep attached, because he can still keep doing his duty. But we minus three off the quest, and we added one, so we quest successfully by four. So it means we go to a, we get to put four progress onto the wall of trees, and that goes to the victory display. And we're just going to put out a dice here for how much victory points is in the victory display. At the moment there is two. And now we go to a random way that is not that we don't have it ready closing and around them first player reveals an additional encounter card during the quest phase so we have to travel to misleading paths and now we go to the next round And 
Gildor goes to discard pile because we don't have the resources to keep in play. Storm comes. Play that. We're going to play Valiant. Go over to the Hobbit deck, draw a card, a dagger. We're going to put another dagger onto Mary. It's another to attack. Now we're going to use Brotus ability to give Mary a resource and spend two and put a unexpected courage onto Mary. Now we're going to go to the questing phase. There's two in the staging area. We're going to quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And we're going to go toward the storm comes. First card is ending and failing. Doom 2. At the end of the phase, raise each player's threat by X, where X is the number of enemies in the staging area. Card 2. The press of force. Well, the press of fourth is in the staging area. Each player can't play more than one card each round. So that added two. So we quested successfully by 12. That clears misleading paths and a storm comes. So now, while this quest is in the victory display, the first ally played each by each player, each round does not require a resource match. Now we also have to reveal an extra one. The Grasping Rut. Because of the closing in around them. But we still quested for enough to clear the storm comes. So we don't have enough progress, so we get, have to go to another random 2A. Choked with, branches, with brambles. At the end of the round, remove all progress from each location in play. We're going to travel to the Press of Forest. And the Grasping Rut does not engage us. So we're going to go to the next round. Draw cards. Now 
Now we're going to use Frodo's ability and give Tom Cotton's a resource. Now we're going to spend two and put in Rip. We get to search our deck for a creature and put it into our hand and until the end of the phase it doesn't require a resource match. So we're going to get Wolf. Now we're going to put Wolf into play. And now we get a search for another creature. We're going to get Bill and he goes into play for free because we have Sam in play. So his cost is reduced by two. I'll go over to the Rosie deck. We're going to put the fast hitch. We're going to put that on to Tom Cotton. Now we're going to go to the questing phase. There is a total of Five in the staging area. We're going to quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And he readies well, uh, at the beginning of each phase when there's at least one side quest in the victory display. And if there's three, he turns into a hero. So, card one, misleading pass. Card one, Deep Gully. Card two, when revealed, choose a location in the victory display and return to the staging area. If no locations are returned this way, swaying without wind gains surge. So we have to return the wall of trees to the staging area. So that out of the total of five threat. So we're up to ten. Quest successfully by seven. That puts four progress onto the wall of trees and three onto the press of forest. And we're going to exhaust Rosie to make that five. So we clear a press of forest and the wall of trees. That brings us up to four on the victory display. Now we have to travel to misleading paths. And we go to another random 2A. Dark, bad place. We have to exhaust it hero at the end of the planning phase. Now we go to the next round.
draw a card, prepare for battle. That's explored. We can the first player draws an extra card. Raise the Shire. We're going to put Fang into play. And he doesn't require a resource match because it's the first one that I'm playing. We don't have any more allies, creatures in our deck, so we're not even going to use do the response. So now we're going to play a unexpected courage. We're going to put that on the Rosie. Now we're going to go to the questing phase. We're going to quest for two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. and there is seven in the staging area. I guess we'll add Grip, Fang, and Wolf. Make three more to bring it up to 20. And we're going to go to Prepare for Battle. Card one, Wall of Trees. Card two is Strange Woods. So that added five, bringing us up to 12. So we quest successfully by eight. That puts two on the misleading path, exploring it, and just enough to explore, prepare for battle. So now the first player will draw an extra card each round. Actually, we don't explore it because four goes on to here. Exploring that. And that leaves us with two, or on Rosie to make that four. So we have four on the side quest. And six in the victory display. And for the heroes that I was supposed to exhaust, The bad place was Tom Cotton and Fatty. And camp, characters can't be healed. So we're going to travel to a deep gully. But we have to first get another random. 2A. Choked with brambles. At the end of the round, we remove all progress from locations in play. Now we're going to go to the next round. Card, Frodo's Intuition. We're going to play Frodo's Intuition. Draw five cards. We have five Hobbit heroes. Fast Hitch, Gather Information, Sneak Attack, Peace and Thought, and Gandalf. We'll play Gather Information.
we're going to play a fast hitch onto Mary. I'll go over to the Rosie deck, test a will. Now we're going to go to the questing phase, and we're going to go towards gather information. There is a total of eight in the staging area. And we're going to quest for two, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. First card is Deep Gully. Guess we can't get out of those gullies. Second card is a Grasping Root. We're going to exhaust Mary to reduce our set by three. And that increases the staging script by five. We're bringing it up to 13. So we quest successfully by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to add Rosie to make that nine. So that clears the deep gully and gather information. So we each get a search or encounter deck for a card, our deck for a card. We're going to get a Clavering Stone. Actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to get Arwen. We need to have Sentinel. Here. We're going to get a, a red book, a Westmarch. And we didn't. In, we ha don't have enough quest points yet, victory points yet in the victory display, so we have to go to another random 2A. Shifting trees. At the end of the round, discard a random location from the victory display. We're going to travel to Deep Gully. Now we're going to go to the end of the round. So we have to randomly put a location. Hopefully it's going to be the wall of trees. No, you can only play one card at round. Draw a card, send for aid. We're going to spend two and put in Arwen. 
draw a card. I'm going to use Frodo's ability with Sauce the Ring to give Sam a resource. Now we're going to play the Red Book of Westmarch. And we're going to attach it to Pippin. So now all Hobbit characters get plus one willpower when Pippin is questing. And if you quest successfully, he gains a resource. So I can't play any more cards this round. Now we're going to quest. There is a total of 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 in the staging area. And we're going to quest for 2, choose Tom. So until I say differently, Tom's going to be the sentinel. From Arwen. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty three, or twenty twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty seven. And we're going to go against Prepare for Battle. Card one, another Grass Green Root. Card two, another Grass Green Root. We're going to re reduce our threat by three with Sam's ability. So that added six, bringing it up to 19. So he quests successfully. Seven. That clears the deep gully and clears prepare for battle. We now have three side quests in the victory display. So Valiant turns into a hero and we draw one extra. The first player draws an extra card each round. And we're going to travel to the oppressive forest. But we also have to go to another random 2A. Choked by brambles. At the end of the round, remove all progress from each location in play. That's one I like the best because it doesn't do anything. I also get an extra resource on Pippin. Card, Dunedain Warning. We're going to put the Dunedain Warning onto Tom Cotton. Go over to the Rosie deck. 
Draw a card, King's Lances. We're going to put out Send for Aid. We're going to play King's Lances. It's going to cost five. So two resources. We're going to use two lower resources, two spirit resources, and one from Salian. Draw three cards. Now, we're going to spend one, two, three, four, and play another King's Lances. Not only, and reduce our spread by four, down to 17. Now we're going to play an Out of the Wild for one. And we get to search the top five cards of the deck. Move one non-objective, non-victory point card to the victory display. We're going to put the falling branches into the victory display. And now there is a total of four cards in the victory display that have no... victory points, so King's Lances will cost one. And we we're supposed to draw an extra card with the first player. Now we're going to play King's Lances for one and draw three cards. So now Keena's lances are free. Now we're going to quest. There is a total of 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 in the staging area. Now we're going to quest for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And we're going to go against Send for Aid. First card is Ending and Failing, Doom 2. At the end of the phase, raise... Each player is threatened by X, where X is the number of enemies in the staging area. We're going to play a test of will and cancel that effect. Our two is Army of Flies. We're going to exhaust Mary and reduce our threat by one. And card two, Strange Woods. So that added four, bringing us up to 21. So we quest successfully by one, two, three, four, five, six. That clears the impressive forest. Puts one progress on to send for aid.
and now we have a total of 10 in the victory display. So we go to stage three. When revealed, add Old Man Willow and with Wendell to the staging area. Reveal X encounter cards where X is the number of players in the game minus one. That's another deep golly. Oh, two deep gollies, four grasping roots, two strange woods, an old man willow, and a whist windle. Now we're going to travel. to a deep gully. Okay, now Army of Flies is going to has one it's 27 engagement costs. We're actually not going to travel to the deep gully. We're going to travel to the West Windle. We're going to be really one additional shadow cards. And now, Army of Flies. We're going to have that engage the rosy deck. And when it engages, we're going to discard a card. Of a discarding attachment. We're going to discard a Song of Wisdom. Now Old Man Willow. Consider engages each player and we're going to block with Tom Cotton. If there are no locations in the staging area, add this to the staging area. There's locations. So it's five attack. We have eight defense, seven defense. So we're fine. We have to Discard a random location for the staging area and add and raise our threat by the threat of the discarded by the victory points of the discarded card is two. So we raise our threat by two. And now we're going to block old man Willow with Tom Cotton. Attacking five. No Shadow, no damage. Raise our threat by two. Now we're going to block the army of flies with Fatty. Defending player discards a non objective attachment. Oh, 
I guess we'll get rid of uh, Unexpected Courage. And then I'm going to attack this. Do a sneak attack. Oh, we don't have any resources. So I guess we're going to attack with Mary, sector five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Add Rosie to make that twelve. And put eight damage onto Old Man Willow. Now we're going to attack this Thalia and destroy the army of flies. So you hang on, I'm doing one other thing. I'm going to be playing my Elrond's console. Reduce our threat by. Three. Give Rosie an extra attack. So that willpower that gives one more attack, does one more damage. So we have nine damage. Here we need three more damage. So we're going to attack with Thalion and destroy the army of flies. Now go to the next round. Gets a resource requesting successfully. I get two cards. Tree beard. We're in secrecy, so we're going to play an out of the wild. Oh, there's Tom Bombadil. Well, we're going to get rid of this. Song of Sleep. Now we're going to put Treebeard into play using up Frodo's resources. Now we're going to go over to the Hobbit deck, draw a card, Gandalf. We're going to hard cast Gandalf. And reduce our threat by 5, down to 38, or 28. 
Now we're going to go into the questing phase. We're going to be revealing one additional card. And that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 25 in the staging area. Now we're going to quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31. First card, Wall of Trees. Second card is Long Trailer. We're going to raise our spread by one, two, three, four. And exhaust Fatty. And send that to the victory display. And now card number three. Army of Flies. Card number four. 3.1. Long trailer. So that added one, two, three, four, five to the staging area, bringing it up to 30. So we quest successfully by one. And now we're going to exhaust Rosie make that three so that clears the wall of trees. So we've got no progress on the active location. Now we're going to engage the army of flies with the Rosie deck and discard old bogey stories. Now we're going to attack block with Tom Cotton. Attacking getting plus one. Attacking for six. We have seven defense. Now we're gonna block. We're just going to take it undefended. Attacking is plus one. So we take two damage. I put that on the Salian. Now we're going to block with Tom Cotton. Oh, Bombadil. No shadow, no damage. We have to discard this. Raise the threat by two. Raise the threat by two. Now we're going to attack with Salian and destroy the army of flies. Now we're going to attack with Mary. It's attacking for nine and that's going to put five damage onto old man willow so we have the 12 damage we needed on him now we're going to the next round
during the refresh phase. Oh no, I'm going to pass. You gotta draw two cards. A fast hitch and a staff levis run. We're gonna put a fast hitch onto Tom Cotton. The staff onto Tom Cotton. Now we're going to go over to the Rosie deck, draw a card, Halfling Bounder, I'm going to exhaust the ring and put a progress on the Halfling Bounder, on Fatty. And put out a halfling bounder. Then we're going to put play an unexpected courage. And put that on the Tom. So now you can ready three times. And characters and enemies in the staging area are plus eight engagement costs. So we're going to class for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. And then we're going to add Tom Cotton to make it 34. And we have a total of 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And we're going to go towards send for aid. We're also, now we're going to play sneak attack Gandalf. Add four more, bringing us up to 38. And we're going to draw three cards. First card, Falling Branches. Each player removes the character he controls from the quest and deals two damage to that character. Three damage instead if it's an ally. We're going to cancel that with the Halfling Bounder. Card number two, Lost and Witless. Discard all progress from each location 
the staging area, if there is a non-unique actor location there, the locations is unique. So add a surge. Long trailer. Okay, exhaust. Mary. Reduce threat by two. And third card is swaying without wind. Choose the location in the victory display and return to the staging area. We're going to get the deep gully. So that added four to the staging area, bringing it up to 31. So that clears the whisk window. We're also going to add Rosie to make three more. So that clears the send for aid. But we have two attacks that are attacking now. We have three blocks. Here we're going to long trailer. We're going to block this Tom Cotton. No shadow, no damage. We're going to block the Tom Cotton, the other tree. No shadow, no damage. So we have one block left with Tom Cotton. And this goes back to my hand. And we each get a search our deck, top 10 cards for a deck for an ally. Oh, how about that? It's a whip. got the Buckland Sheriff, Lily, and Robin Smallborough. We're going to get Robin Smallborough. Now, Old Man Willow is going to make his attacks. We're going to block with Tom Cotton. No shadow, no damage. Now we're going to block with Salian. And he's destroyed. 
and you have to raise our threat by two. We also forgot to travel. Uh, we're not going to travel. Oh, I guess we'll tr we can travel to this strange woods. Well, we're not going to travel at all because we don't want those trailers to attack. Now we go to the next round. Draw two cards. We're going to put a strider on the Rosie. It doesn't do anything now because we have more than five characters. As soon as Frodo goes over, we'll have enough. Go over to the Hobbit deck. Draw a card. Now we're going to play Bilbo. And we get a search our deck for pipe, put it in our hand. We'll play the pipe on the Tom. Now we get to search the top five cards or deck for a vent. We're gonna get the sneak attack. We're gonna be putting a Tom Cotton a uh, gaffer into play. Put a Odo Proudfoot into play. Search the top five cards for a deck for a Hobbit ally. We're gonna get a Buckland Sheriff. Now we're going to put a Buckland Sheriff into play. We're going to put a Farmer Maggot into play. Now, we're going to go into the questing phase and do a sneak attack, Gandalf. And reduce our threat by five.
and we're going to go all in with questing. So we're going to quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31, 32. The end off makes 36, 37, 38, 3, Griff, Fang, and Wolf, 41, Mary, 44, and Pippin, 47. So we're YOLO questing with everybody for 47. And there is 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 in the staging area. And we got 47. First card. Lost and witless. Discard all. Now there's no active location, so it gains surge. Or has surge. Gildor. The first player gains control of Gildor. Now one more card, Doom 2, when revealed at the end of the, oh, at the end of the phase, raise each player's threat by X, where X is the number of enemies in the staging area. We're going to do a test of will and cancel that. So we added no threat to the staging area. So he quested successfully by 16, and then add Rosie to make that 19. So there's a win. Shows you how those hobbits, you know, I would say the MVP. Uh, the Hobbit's deck was the Red Book of Westmarch and Arwen and Domniel for the Rosie deck because giving being able to get the Sentinel for all those attacks. But thanks for watching. And have a great day. And the quest resolution. If there is at least 12 damage tokens on Old Man Willow, the players have earned the Old Bowie Stories Boom Card. As the add old bogey stories to the victory display to shuffle your hand of at least six cards into your deck and then draw six cards.